Hey Nick, I found this Desmos graph that someone posted on Reddit, and I noticed that something really weird happens when you turn up the H parameter all the way. It's a little easier to hear than to see for some reason, so I added a sonification. You can turn that on by clicking the unmute button in the upper left. Anyway, let me know if you can figure out what's going on. It's like the whole is more than the sum of the parts or something. Your good friend, Mark. So in the comments of my previous video about creating the severance theme music in Desmos, one person mentioned that they rickrolled their friends this way. So I figured, as a public service, I should do a quick tutorial on how to rickroll your friends with Fourier analysis. Step 1. Create a list of numbers representing the pitch of the melody at evenly spaced intervals. There are various ways of doing this, but my preferred method is to use MIDI pitch Boom. values and to type the numbers while humming the pitches Boom. to yourself like a crazy person. Boom. Boom. Step 2. Ask ChatGPT to write a script to compute the Fourier transform and give you a list of coefficients. A Fourier transform is a way of breaking down a mathematical function into a sum of sine waves of different frequencies. For more about that, check out my series of videos on circle music. Anyway, for best results, you might want to upsample the pitch list a little bit. Step 3. Have ChatGPT revise the script to print out these coefficients in a way that you can paste straight into Desmos. Then ask it for a function that represents the nth sinusoid, and another function that sums up a certain number of these sinusoids. Note that some trial and error might be necessary, since ChatGPT is really kind of bad at writing Desmos functions. Step 4. Run the script and copy and paste the coefficients along with the functions into Desmos. You may have to fiddle around a little bit to get it to accept these functions, and you're going to want to add a slider that controls how many sine waves you add up. With any luck, at the end, you have something that looks like this. Step 5. Add a slider for t that represents where we are within the melody, and use that to create a point that follows along the curve. You may also want to remap the slider that controls the number of sine waves for optimal effect. Step 6. Add a frequency mapping function that converts the y coordinate to the appropriate frequency. For more information on how to do this, check out that video I mentioned before about creating the severance theme in Desmos. Having created that function, add a call to Desmos's tone function, providing it with the frequency of the sum of sine waves at the given time t. Step 7. Test your creation. Step 8. Write a completely non-suspicious email to your friend Nick. Is this going to be a rickroll? God damn it. 